Hi, welcome to www.fakequilts.com. I'm Carolyn Wayne Scott, also known as Ma'am Granny, and I'm going to be showing you how to uh, put together your own photo memory quilt. I think this is probably the most beautiful photo quilt that my partner and I have made. This was made for her husband, and the fabrics just coordinate beautifully, and it makes a, a wonderful quilt for a man. These are instant heirlooms. So let's get started with your memory photo quilt by preparing your fabric for the photos. You're going to need the plastic coated freezer wrap. That needs to be cut into eight and a half by eleven inch sheets to go through your printer. You'll need your regular cutting tools and you might want to use an old rotary blade to cut the paper so you don't dull a good blade. Regular scissors and of course you know never to use these on paper. And a rotary ruler. You need your iron to press the freezer wrap to the fabric. You will need the bubble jet set rinse to soak your fabric in and this will do about 40 to 50 um, eight and a half by eleven sheets, and that's the way that we print ours. In the eight and a half by eleven, you can cut those down and make smaller uh, photo blocks if you wish. You will need rubber gloves, a tub to soak the fabric in, and then you're going to need uh, cotton or a cotton blend fabric. Now this particular fabric has already been soaked in the bubble jet set so we're just going to pretend we're doing this. You need a tub large enough to hold the uh, yardage and that's going to be about four and a half or five yards to make that many photos. We cut our strips into manageable strips about eleven and a half inches wide and then we soak those strips we bifold those down into the tub. Follow the instructions on the bubble jet set. You're going to leave this soak about five to ten minutes. Then you're going to pick it up and let it drip dry. After the fabric is completely dry, now that the freezer wrap is pressed onto the fabric, trim it down to the eleven and a half, eight and a half by eleven inch size. This is a standard size like the copy paper that you put through your printer, except it has the backing sheet. Get all the little Let pieces away from your printer piece because if you have any left on your fabric, the ink won't take under it and when you take the lint off, you're going to have little white specks. And we just usually take an afternoon and uh, prepare our fabrics and get this out of the way. Now that our photo fabric is prepared, the fun time begins by gathering all those photos and looking through those to choose which ones you're going to use. Now if you don't want to go through this step, you can purchase uh, photo fabric that's already prepared. I did try uh, a couple of those several years ago and um, I have been much more satisfied by preparing my own. I have a set of uh, practice pieces that I throw through the washer to make sure that they are washable and of course you're going to treat this as any fine fabric and you're going to keep it out of sunlight and direct light so that you can uh, preserve the fabric. So next year at www.fabequilts.com I'm going to be showing you how to put together your your photos into your editing software and uh, then we're going to start printing your photos. Also come on over to uh, Fave Quilts on Facebook and um, maybe post your photos of your quilts 
especially if you're going to be doing a photo quilt. If you need any extra help, post a comment there and I'll try and get on there to uh, help you out if you need help. Uh, these are fairly simple. It just takes a lot of steps. And you can also come over to Carolyn's Canvas on Facebook and would love to have you stop by there.